Hi, I'm Maurice Copron, Head of uh, Bedrock Geology with the Yukon Geological Survey. Well, these earthquakes occur because there's uh, there was uh, a buildup of energy on uh, fault systems around the Denali Duke River uh, fault systems. Uh, and yesterday we just had a sudden release of that energy. And so that energy builds over time as plate tectonics, as the uh, tectonic plates uh, past each other, uh, you'll have a lockup and a buildup of energy which will be released in these dramatic events. At 531, we had a first earthquake. Uh, which was first reported as 6.5 magnitude, but after correction and recalculation was determined to be a 6.2 magnitude at probably about 2 kilometers depth or 2.2 kilometers depth. And we think that this uh, earthquake was probably located on the uh, Duke River Fault, which is a, a, another fault to the west of the main Denali Fault, which is right here. Uh, and uh, it parallels or more or less parallels the, the Denali Fault. Uh, about an hour and almost two hours uh, later, at about 7.20 or 7.18, I think, uh, we had another magnitude 6.3 earthquake. Uh, and this one appears to be deeper, probably in the 10 to 20 kilometers depth. And it was located uh, uh, some distance to the south of the first epicenter. All the other earthquake activity uh, is located on adjacent faults to uh, the, these systems, uh, but are much lesser magnitude, and those are aftershocks. We, here in Yukon, we're located uh, around the Pacific Rim of Fire, which is well known. The red dot shows uh, earthquake activities around the Pacific Rim. The Pacific Ocean floor is subducting all around uh, its edges. So most major earthquakes would occur along uh, a subduction zone. Uh, in the situation where we are here, uh, we're more dealing with uh, uh, strike slip faults where uh, each plates are moving side by side rather than uh, a plate, plate sliding under the other one. As the subduction uh, transfer into strike slip motion, here's the Fairweather uh, uh, Queen Charlotte Fault, uh, displacement will go into a strike slip motion. Earthquake yesterday occurred around this area here near uh, the Denali Fault and another set of faults that are further in, in board in the St. Elias Mountains. So on this map here, uh, what we see is uh, the historical earthquake since about 2000. Uh, we can see that there's quite a cluster of earthquakes in southwest Yukon, southwest of the Denali Fault. And this is what we would expect to see uh, just because we are near the plate boundary at that point. Okay, so on this map here, what we see is if, uh, I've just filtered down the earthquakes to those that are magnitude 5 or greater. Uh, and those are the ones that we would expect to, to really feel and potentially see damage uh, in the area. So we can see that those are much fewer than uh, uh, all the earthquakes that were shown historically. Earthquakes are monitored uh, with a seismometer, which is an instrument that measures the shaking of the ground. Uh, and uh, on this map here, we uh, show the current and future deployment of uh, seismometers that will cover all of Yukon and monitor uh, these earthquakes.